you have to see this video if you want to learn how to create and add custom home screen widgets for your iPhone in iOS 14 using Widget Smith. I'm Vlad from iPhoneTricks.org and let's dive right into the content. I've already shown you how to use uh, stock widgets, third-party widgets, and now let's check custom. For this, we have to open the App Store and search for Widget Smith. Let's download it. You have three widget sizes. The small widgets, the medium widgets, the large widgets, exactly all of the types supported by iOS 14. We will add a new small widget. I will add in fact three of them because I want to configure three types of widgets. Uh, let's try to edit the second one. Tap on default widget. You can use between a time widget, a date widget, a custom widget which includes photos a calendar widget, reminder widget, the weather one is paid for premium members, health and activity widget, and astronomy widget. Okay, so let's start with the astronomy one. I select moon phase, you have the location, and we go back. We tap on the name to edit, and I'll type astronomy. Astro no me good save now let's configure a new one for this one i want to choose a photos album you have to allow access to your iphone photos now let's select an album i already created a special album for this app called photos for widget smith i'll select it Go back and rename this as Photos Album. And I'll save this one here. Okay, I have the Photos Album. Now let's edit the medium widget. We add one more, two, let's add four, okay. So let's start configuring. Here for the medium set we have time, date, Custom, this month, let's try photos in album and select an album. Again, photos for Widget Smith. Okay. Photos album, I'll name this one. Photos album. It's done. Next one should be an, let's see what options we have. Health and activity. You have to turn all categories on and to allow uh, widget Smith to access your health data. Okay. And the fourth one, let's see what other options we have. Have location we have font okay let's stick with the default I call it moon. save save let's edit one more this one over here let's call it let's add this one over here and just edit the styles for example I can select background color like iPhone tricks.org good then we have tint color, let's make it black to stand out better, and the font, let's pick noteworthy, and then date, this one that shows the number of week of the year, okay, Bam. let's call it date, save, okay. For the large widget, let's add one more and see what options we have over here. We have time, custom. Okay, let's select the photo one. Select photo and choose a photo. I'll go for albums. Let me 
choose the one that I already predefined photos for widget smith and let's choose a photo from here this one because it's really nice okay go back let put save okay now with all these widgets configured we'll go back to the home screen long press on it tap the plus icon and uh, scroll all the way down till we reach widget smith tap it now let's start adding the widgets we'll add a small one first let me add the medium one and one more medium one okay this should be enough for now okay so i'll long press on the widget tap edit widget and now i can select which widget i want to display in this location i can choose from the four that i already predefined let me choose photos album and voila i have the a photo from the photos album and one more with medium widget okay done now let's select the moon phase we have let's put a date okay so you will see we have the three these three widgets now if i want i can like um, combine them and create a smart tag of widget smith widgets yeah so that i bring one on top of the other like this and you'll notice i have a smart stack of widget smith widgets okay good you can on uh, you can only add same size in a stack good so also let's also bring up the large widget and that's over here done and let's also add one more medium size widget to see that we that all of the Widget types are working. Edit widget. Let's select activity. Okay, it appears that the activity widget is the only one that is malfunctioning. It says no data. Let me see if I can troubleshoot it. Let me just tap on it. If I tap on it, you see the activity is loading. I go back go to health can show the number of steps so if I turn me yeah, still no data it seems there is a problem let's manage permissions location denied health status is requested so what I can do to troubleshoot is open settings and scroll for widget smith To check the permissions or photos it's just photos permission granted if i go for health data access and devices which is smith the data is allowed so there Okay, so apparently there is a bug with Widget Smith. The, the app, I think, requires an update from the developer because if I go to the health section and I go to data access and devices, you see that Widget Smith is getting health data. It has all the permissions. But if I open Widget Smith and I go to the settings and permissions, you see that health, I get status requested. Uh, so it doesn't confirm that it has a status and this is why I'm getting here the no data for uh, for this widget for the 
activity widget. Well, what I will try now is to reboot my iPhone and let's see if this uh, changes. So let's try it out. I'll force restart it. I go volume up, volume down, press and hold the restart button, the side button and hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm releasing it when the screen turned black. And you see it's force rebooting. Okay, it, it restarted. Let me bring the pass. Okay, let's go back to the... Yeah, still no data, unfortunately. Tap once. You see the steps are here, but it's loading status for the activity. So there, this is definitely a bug and we have to wait for a fix, a new version from the developer. There's one more thing that I want to show you is how to create a new photo album. You open photos, tap the plus here, new album, write the name, Widget Smith. You tap save and then you select the photos that you want to add and you will get the album like this one over here. And this one is the one that you can Select them in the Widgetsmith app to add, to add it to your custom widgets. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't hesitate to give us a like, subscribe to our channel and visit iphonetricks.org daily for tips and tricks related to your favorite Apple products. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.